showcase my top five meta SMG loadouts in Warzone 2 Season 4. Now that we've had some time with the update and I've gotten some time to test all the guns, I wanted to run it back and update my list and tell you guys exactly what you should be running in the current meta. So, of course, stay tuned for all the loadouts before up into any of that. I want to give a huge shout out to Glazer, Dizzy, and Frank for having my post notifications on. Also, if you guys do want a chance getting in my next video, make sure you guys go down below and hit that big red subscribe button, as well as leaving a like and a comment saying notice. Watch the full video through. But like I said, I want to run it back and update my top five SMGs for you guys. Without further ado, step directly into loading number one. For the first gun on the list, we have the ISO 45 SMG, which is actually the brand new SMG that just got added with the season four. So, of course, let me get you guys the build for it. For the first attachment, we have the Spiral V3.5 Flash Hider, giving you that muzzle flash concealment and recoil steadiness, making it to where the ISO 45 is an absolute beam. For the tuning on the muzzle, I did negative 0.26 for the ADS speed and plus 0.21 for the gun kick control. Then, of course, with it being an SMG, you want to be as fast as humanly possible. So, tossing the VLK LZR 7MW laser, giving you the ADS speed, aiming stability, and sprint to fire speed. Like I said, making you a whole lot faster on the map, but also making it more accurate as well. For the tuning on the laser, I did negative 0.31 for that sprint to fire speed, and I completely maxed it out for that ADS speed. And then on the ISO 45, I personally don't love the iron sights. I think they're really bulky, and I really just don't like using them. So I tossed on the SZ Sigma 4 Optic, which is just a super clean little red dot. For the tuning on the Optic, I did negative 1.84 for the ADS speed, and for the bottom bar, I left it completely even at 0, 0. Mixing in absolutely perfect with the laser is the XP Shear Rear Grip, giving the ADS speed and sprint to fire speed, making the ISO 45 even faster and more snappier. For the tuning on the rear grip, I did negative 0.45 for the ADS speed and negative 0.25 for that sprint to fire speed. And of course, for the last and final attachment, we have the 45 round drum mag, increase that mag capacity, making it to where you don't have to reload after every single kill. But overall, that's my full build for the brand new ISO 45 SMG. Like I was telling you guys, this is my number one SMG on the list, and in my opinion, the best SMG in the entire game. So if you guys haven't already, go through give the full bit of try attempt the highest cool game you guys get with it but like i said that's my loading number one so stop directly to my loading number two loading number two is actually the vaznam 9k which in my opinion is the best smg for mobility you can absolutely glide around the map with this thing and it just feels incredible so of course for this build we're running it back with the spiral v 3.5 flash hider for our muzzle giving you the exact same pros and cons as the iso 45 for the tuning on the muzzle i did negative 0.52 for the ads speed and plus 0.19 for that gun kick control same thing as the iso i have the fss olev laser giving you the ads speed aiming stability and sprint to fire speed making the vasm 9k a whole lot faster but also making you more of a beam as well for the tuning on the laser at a negative 0.31 for that sprint to fire speed a negative 19.74 feet for the ads speed then just like always on my vasnav i have the ultra zat stock giving me the aim walking speed and sprint speed making it to where you are absolutely gliding around the map for the tuning on the stock at a negative 1.03 for the ads speed a negative 1.32 for the aim walking speed mixing in perfect with the laser in the stock is the true tag grip for our rear grip giving you the ads speed and sprint to fire speed overall making the vasnav even snappier and quicker on the map for the tuning on the rear grip i did negative 0.19 for the ads speed and negative 0.20 for that sprint to fire speed and of course for the last and final attachment we have the 45 round mag which is actually the only mag option on the vasnav making it to where you can beam an entire four stack if you really need to but overall that's my full build for the vasnav 9k smg like i was saying this is my loaded number two and one of my favorite guns in the entire game so, of course, if you guys haven't already, go through, give this whole build a try. But like I was saying, that is my loading number two in SMG number two. So, let's hop directly into SMG number three. SMG number three is the Lockman Sub, aka the MP5, which I actually ended up changing on my build for season four. It's absolutely disgusting and one of the best guns in the entire game still. So, of course, for this build, I got you guys with the VLK LZR 7MW laser, which I've told you over and over is making the SMG a whole lot faster. With that ADS speed, aiming stability, and sprint to fire speed. For the tuning on the laser, I did negative 0.15 for that sprint to fire speed and negative 24.68 feet for that ads speed then just like always i always run the mirror recoil 56 factory stock on my mp5 giving you that aiming stability recoil control and sprint speed making it to where the mp5 is an absolute beam and you're faster on the map for the tuning on the stock at a negative 1.29 for the ads speed and negative 1.01 for the aim walking speed mixing in absolutely perfect with the stock is the lockman tcg 10 rear grip giving you even more recoil control making it to where you can beam anybody you really need to using this mp5 for the tuning on the rear grip at a negative 0.13 for the ads speed and plus 0.15 for the aiming auto stability then you toss on the nine millimeter overpressured ammunition giving you that target flinch but the main thing with the ammunition is the tuning speaking of the tuning i did plus 0.54 for that damage range and plus 5.81 for that bolt velocity and of course the last and final attachment we have the 40 round mag and 
instead of the 50 round drum because the 40 round mag is still going to hold on to a little bit more mobility and it's more than enough ammo but overall that's my full build for the lockman sub aka the mp5 smg which like i was telling you guys this is still one of the best guns in the entire game if not the best it's very interchangeable with the vasnet and the iso 45 it really just comes down to personal preference so of course if you guys haven't already go through give the full build a try some of the highest cool game you guys get with it like i said that's my loading number three and my smg number three so stop directly into loading number four loadout number four is the vel 46 ak the mp7 which is another gun that i absolutely love it's extremely underrated and up there with all the other smgs like i said with the mp5 it's all interchangeable it really just comes down to personal preference but of course for this build we're tossing on the schlager l203 barrel giving you that damage range hit fire accuracy and bull velocity making you hit harder making you more accurate and getting you closer to hit skin for the tuning on the barrel at a negative 0.24 for the aim walking speed and plus 0.23 for that damage range then just like every other smg on the list we have the vlk lzr 7mw laser giving you that ads speed aiming stability and sprint to fire speed making you a whole lot faster on the map and making you more accurate as well for the tuning on the laser at a negative 0.15 for that sprint to fire speed and negative 19.74 feet for the ads speed making you even faster is the demo rxt stock giving you that ads speed sprint speed and crouch movement speed like i said making you faster in every possible way making it to where you're just gliding around the map for the tuning on the stock at a negative 2.06 for the ads speed and negative 0.77 for the aim walking speed then for the rear grip we're tossing the schlager soldier grip giving you the ads speed and sprint to fire speed making the vote 46 even faster for the tuning on the rear grip i did a plus 0.55 for that recoil steadiness and negative 0.20 for that sprint to fire speed and of course for the last and final attachment we have the 50 round mag increase that mag capacity making it to where you don't have to reload after every single kill but overall that's my full build for the mp7 ak the Vel 46 smg like i told you guys this is my loaded number four and one of my favorite guns in the entire game so if you guys haven't already go through give the full build a try time the highest skill game you guys get with it without further ado stop directly into loading number five smg number five and our last loadout on the list is the mx9 which the only issue with the mx9 is the mag size but overall it has great damage great movement and it really does not move at all so of course for this build we're gonna toss on the 508 millimeter rear guard barrel give you that damage range hit fire accuracy and bull velocity overall making the mx9 hit even harder and getting you closer to hit skin for the tuning on the barrel i did plus 0.15 for that recoil steadiness and plus 0.21 for that damage range then of course just like every single smg i run we're tossing on the vlk lzr 7mw laser giving you the exact same pros and cons for the tuning on the laser at a negative 0.34 for that sprint to fire speed negative 36.19 feet for the ads speed making you even more of a beam you have the bruin stb 556 stock giving you even more recoil control like i said making the mx9 even more accurate for the tuning on the stock at a negative 1.03 for the ads speed and negative 1.47 for the aim walking speed mixing in perfect with the laser is the bruin q900 rear grip giving you the ads speed and sprint to fire speed making the mx9 even faster for the tuning on the rear grip at a negative 0.29 for the ads speed and negative 0.25 for that sprint to fire speed then like i was saying before the only issue with the mx9 is the mag size and the biggest round mag you could toss on is the 32 mag which is super unfortunate i think if it had a bigger mag it would be in that meta conversation but even with the 32 round mag it is still decent so of course toss it on but overall that's my full build for the mx9 smg and my last loadout on the list so if you guys haven't already go through give this whole build a try like i said that is our smg number five so go through give every single loadout a try on the list and then go down in the comments below and let me know if they help you guys out at all and if they do hit that big red subscribe button that's it for the video